officially wala pa kaming nare-receive na resolution from the Comelec declaring such uh, area as under Comelec control but naghahanda naman ang PNP kasi nga uh, based sa uh, uh, text communication from the DRDA of Region 10 kasama naman sa EWAS yung panta, pandar ng Lanao del Norte and pinaghahanda nila ito ngayon uh, merong resolution ng COMELEC Resolution number 10074 Ito yung Nakalagay dito yung grounds for COMELEC control Actually nakalagay din yun sa diba? So paano ma-classify as COMELEC control? The commission may place under its immediate and direct control and supervision any political subdivision subdivision unit or area affected by any of the following parameters One History of current intense rivalry among contending parties. Such rivalries could motivate people to engage in violent acts. Number two, violence may be facilitated by the employment of private armed groups, abetted by loose firearms in the hands of unqualified individuals, and serious armed threats posed by the New People's Army, BILF, Abu Sayyaf, and rogue elements of the MNLF or other para paramilitary forces, private armies, or identifiable armed bands widely perceived to have committed terrorism, fraud, or other election irregularities and threaten or tend to disrupt the holding of free, peace, peaceful, honest, orderly, and credible action in any political subdivision, unit, or area. And ito yun. Ngayon, dahil uh, kami nasa security, Siguro ibasahin ko na lang yung sa part namin. Sa part namin. Uh, pag uh, under ng uh, ng Comele Control, nakalagay dito, powers, take immediate direct control and supervision over all national and local officials and employees required by law to perform duties and or comply. Uh, dito tayo sa B, kasi kami ang sponsor sa B. Okay. Exercise full control and supervision over all national, local law enforcement agencies as well as military officers and men assigned or deployed in the political subdivision, subdivision, unit area of concern. Then, may section, section 3, andito rin yung nakalagay uh, sa, sa side namin. To oversee effective and necessary distribution, assignment and deployment of officers and personnel of the PNP as well as officers of the men of the FP in locality concern. Uh, to augment the police force and assign additional military troops whenever necessary to quell any possible outbreak of violence and maintain peace and order in the locality concern. When necessary, to substitute a whole unit of the police force assigned to the locality concern with another police unit or with adequate unit in the armed forces of the Philippines. To relieve any police, military, or personnel military personnel who may be found unsuitable, unsuitable for continuance in his present assignment in the locality concern. We assign or confine to quarters any such member of the police or military unit. So ito yung sa amin concern. Once na yung area i uh, nilagay sa under well, Comele control. Does that mean magdadagdag ka ba ng pwersa doon? Uh, ano ba yung movement na nagpilin? Ah, yeah. Kasama ito dito, nakalagay. To augment the police force and assign additional military troops whenever necessary to quell any possible outbreak of violence. Sir? Maintain peace and order. So, basically, depende sa assessment doon sa lugar, magdadagdag ng pwersa because of the assessment. Pag-uusapan niya ng joint security controls yung center na meron tayong uh, structure sa baba, uh, Meron sa region, may provincial. Kung, uh, of course, the, yung number ng personal na i-deploy doon sa particular area na yun. But uh, again, in-emphasize dito, ito yung powers ng uh, COMELEC personnel na ma-assign doon just in case. Pero sir, wala pa naman yung part na meron release or meron uh, uh, papalit na replacement of the units there? Wala so, na naman. Taon tayong pinag-usapan na, taon lang. Wala pa naman. Wala pa naman. Kasi sa ngayon is uh, uh, wala pa yung official communication ng... But though, narinig na rin namin yan sa news. Actually, kayo din ang nagsabi sa amin. At 
yung sa ground naman is uh, once na dahil noon pa naman is uh, na declare nga yan na sa Ewa so nakahanda naman ang local uh, police forces doon just in case kung anong dapat pag-usapan because of this decision Sir, as of the moment, pero naman mga Wala pa tayo, kasi nga, wala, sabi ko nga is wala pa tayo natatanggot na official communication from Comelec. Though, sabi ko nga dahil nga yung, uh, yung lugar noon ay naka-declare na as uh, kasama dun sa EWA, sa local, local nila. Kaya nakahanda na rin ang police forces just in case na kailangan, kailangan talaga magdagroon kaya sa doon. Uh, once na ito ay natanggap naman ng ating opisina doon, then mag-uusap yung uh, COMELEC and forces sa PNP kung ilang pwersa talaga ang dapat may lagay doon. Base na rin sa assessment nila sa area. Sir, may parameters tayo. Lahat ba yun should be complete para ma-under sa COMELEC or uh, may origin or end lahat? Nakalagay dito is uh, sabi nila may play under any political area affected by any or all of the following parameters. That means kung any, uh, kung may isa doon, oh. maglalagay sila. Pero yung isa pa ng tarot, sir, ano yung mainit doon? Ano talaga yung naging pasinan para i-sakot? We don't have, wala pa tayo yung resolution kasi nakasag, ilalagay nila yan yung swilis, and bank kasi yan eh. So ilalagay nila yung reason kung bakit nila nailagay yun ang lugar na yun. At ito yung mga kumaga conditions para mailagay yung isang lugar. Uh, sabi ko nga, wala pa tayo, hindi pa natin natatanggap yung official uh, COMELEC uh, resolution. And siguro doon natin makikita kung ano ang uh, grounds why uh, Pandar was placed under COMELEC control. Nevertheless, uh, the PNP is Pandar. Pan pan the PNP naman as uh, nakanda naman kung ano ang pag-uusapan at uh, kung ano ang deployment doon. Sir, are you ready na yung mga tropa if ever na uh, matanggap mo at pag-uusapan na kailangan mag-deployment? Yes, yes. Uh, yun nga, namanggit ko rin kanina na dahil nga din uh, nasa EWAS yung lugar na yan. Kaya uh, pinaghahandaan na ng uh, Philippine National Police just in case magdagdag pa tayo ng persa doon sa lugar na yan. Sir, additional manpower, additional forces will entail additional resources. Are we ready for that? Kasama yan sa pinilano natin dahil nga kaya nga tayo nag-request ng uh, pondo sa COMELEC at binigyan naman tayo ng pondo dahil nga yung, ang mangyayari naman dyan is isi-shift mo lang yung pwersa na supposed to be doon sa isang area, ilalagay natin dito sa particular area. Uh, kung ano yung available resources is yun din ang gagamitin natin which uh, kasama doon yung operational fund na binigay sa atin ng Mikomelec. Sir, pero that doesn't necessarily mean that we are going to request for additional budget because syempre, that will entail na medyo mas maraming request. Yun na yung budget na binigay sa atin initially. Yun ang gagawin na uh, ito ang gagamitin natin. Kasama na rin yung binigay nga ng Comelec. At uh, kung magbibigay pa sila ay eh, maraming salamat dahil uh, alam naman natin na uh, yung hiningay natin ay medyo hindi tumugba doon sa binigay. Okay? Next topic. Maraming salamat po. Ano topic? Ano? Eleksyon? Sir. Ang Sunti? Sir, Petra Santa, may CA order reversing yung Uh, sa ngayon is wala pa rin din kami natatanggap. Actually, nabalitaan lang din natin yan sa news. I think we have to wait again for the official communication from CA. Kung ano, ta uh, kung, kung ano yung decision nila doon. Kasi sa decision nakapaloob doon yung supposed to be the action of a particular agency of the government. Kung kami man ang concern doon, ilalagay nila doon yung sa decision. Siguro mas maganda hintay natin yung uh, decision ng, C ng CA na officially ibibigay nila sa amin. Sir, ito lang ba yung isang kaso na at pwede na siyang bumalik, na-resolve na ba lahat? Ang, um, well, nabasa ko dun sa sa balita, sa diaryo na yung sa kaso nila dun sa firearms and explosives, yung ba yung sa warpass then? Yeah. Yes. So, uh, I think yun ang concern doon. Mm -hmm. Pero di ba may isang kaso, the AK-47? 
Uh, hindi ko pa hindi pa familiar doon but uh, base doon sa report ng uh, sa diaryo is uh, yung sa Warfast. Other than that, wala nang nakalagay doon. Siguro kaya nga it's best uh, na matanggap natin yung official communication para malaman talaga natin kung ano yung detalye doon sa uh, decision ng CA at uh, kung ano ang inuutos ng CA na aksyon ng ng Philippine National Police. Ang reinstatement pertains to reinstatement service. Kasi kung dismiss ka sa service, ba, tanggal ka sa organisasyon, tanggal ka sa PNP uh, organization, servisyo, ibabalik ka sa Philippine National Police, but not necessarily your position. If ever, saan siya? Pagkagano? Usually, uh, it's either i-assign siya sa Office of the Chief PNP mo na, o at the uh, Directorate for sa PPRM. But uh, usually, pag mga ranking officer, ina-assign mo na sa office ng Chief PNP. Okay? So, is this the first time na nangyari ba na may or meron na experience po ang PNP with something like this in the past? Na, na wala akong knowledge for the past na na-reinstate, na dinismiss na ombudsman pa. Uh, well, that's the decision. Kaya sabi nga is, uh, lahat naman kasi kasi kami may remedy no? uh, as an individual. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, wala akong nalalaman pa na na-reinstate after dismissal from the service. Based on the decision of the ombudsman. Ha? Kasi may mga desisyon naman ang Napocom o GPNP na minsan. Nire-reverse yun eh. Sir, may reverse na lang ng order ng Ombudsman. What will happen dun sa kanyang benefits and then yung salary niya na nangyibabang dismissal niya? Yung order niya na dismissal niya? Uh, yun nga ang kinakailangan natin. Tingnan natin dun sa desisyon ng Ombudsman. Kasi kung uh, uh, ma-reinstate ka, at babalik ka doon sa dati mong kung magbabalik ka sa serbisyo. And then ang question doon is ano yung findings ng 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 CA? Uh, ikaw ba ay uh, kumbaga totally exonerated ka, wala kang nagawa, parang ganoon. Para mabigyan ng uh, kaukulang kung may balik sa iyo lahat yung mga benepisyo na yun. Para bang if you kung uh, uh, theoretically assumption is that when you when you when, kung na-charge ka ng isang ng isang offense and pagkatapos nun is uh, na find out na hindi ka naman guilty and na-dismiss ka sa servisyo ibabalik ka sa servisyo balik balik din yung uh, benefits mo kung totally uh, not guilty ka na nakikita doon nare-retro oh, nare-retro yun pinabalik yun sa'yo because sa decision na yun nakalagay talaga doon na hindi ka naman talaga Kaya nga kailangan, kailangan makita talaga natin yung official na na decision so that uh, we can really comment on the particular decision. And what could be the effect of that particular decision? Uh, dadaan pa yan sa proseso sa amin, sa, of course, sa DP, sa Directorate for Personal Records Management. And then, doon, uh, sasabihin ko ano magiging effect ng decision na yun. Pangalawa, ang panindigan naman ng uh, gobyerno kasama ang Philippine National Police doon is uh, uh, no ransom policy. You don't negotiate with terrorists or lawless elements. Uh, as regard to the amount, wala po kami uh, informasyon na natatanggap with regard to that. As always, the policy is uh, we adhere to the policy of no ransom. No ransom. We stick to the no-ransom policy. I think we don't 
hindi na natin kumbaga sinabi natin na no ransom wala kaming uh, hindi namin uh, kumbaga we don't negotiate especially sa ransom sa sa lola sa elements and we stick to that no ransom policy okay maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikinig magandang umaga at tanghali